dear viewer in this video i'm gonna teach you principal component analysis pca first of all i will tell you what is pca and why we will use it principal component analysis pca simplifies the complexity in high dimensional data while retaining trends and patterns high dimensional data are very common in biology and rise when multiple features such as expression of many genes are measured for each sample pca is a uh, pca is an unsupervised learning method and is similar to clustering it finds pattern without reference to prior knowledge about whether the sample come from different treatment groups or have phenotypic differences now i will teach you how to perform it and how to arrange our data first of all we will see our data our data is like this we have different treatments t1 different replicates eight replicates t2 eight replicates and t3 eight replicates and different genes actually i'm gonna send it to transcriptome analysis so uh, i want to analyze my data whether my these my treatment are significantly different or not so i will use r to do pca analysis i have open r i have set my directory run this i have installed gg by plot i can run so we also need gg plot too i have already opened here so i will not uh, open again so we will open our data d1 that pca11 that's my data read.csv this one now my data is open so we will uh, now use principal component analysis trcom this command so we will uh, write pca equal to uh, principal component analysis into data1 my this d1 and uh, these brackets c what we want we want our column 2 to 13 because you can see here one is treatments treatment is not numeric data so pca read uh, numeric data so our column 2 to 1 or 2 to 13 are numeric center mean means are true scales are true so we can run this and summary this is PCA is performed so we can str PCA see different attributes standard deviations rotation and blah blah these kind of things and now if we want to draw a beautiful picture so we will again bind our that uh, data d1 data with this pca results so we will first make space in pca result uh, pca dollar sign into x we can make a space like uh, this and now we will uh, data 2 is equal to c bind mean we will bind the columns are uh, this pca and data 1 data 1 comma PCA A into X. Now uh, the data is bound. So we will use this D2 aesthetic. What we want uh, PCA and PCA, PC1 and PC2. So column is equal to treatments. Our treatments and fill also in different our circle should be filled according to different treatment t1 
T2 and T3. Make them group and fill them to see whether uh, different treatments are different from each another. And the, each treatment have their own cluster. So this is command. You can copy this and paste into your own or studio and change data according to your condition and perform TCA. So I'm using this ggplot. Now we can see this beautiful picture. Now you can see because all box are intermingled, they are mixed with each another. So we cannot find the difference. So we cannot use this kind of treatment for further experiments. I was unable to send my data to transcript tome analysis. So I so now I will perform a good data that have significant difference. So empty cars. And now I, I will use their command. This one and we will make the group of different car brands from different countries and now you can see this command here ggplot uh, ggbyplot double column because if you will only use ggplot i was using ggplot i could not perform my pca analysis and so I use this double column. Now I could perform it. And done. Now you can see this beautiful picture. Now you can see this blue circle and red circle are, are separate from each another. So these are significantly different from each another. But this green circle is mixed with both red and blue. The green is not significant uh, difference from both of these data. So that was about uh, PC analysis in R. So dear viewer, if you like my video, you can subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification for new videos. Thank you. Thank you for watching.